Good day guys, today we're going to be trying to turn the R36S into a web server. I'll be using my cheap USB 2 4 port hub, along with my cheap USB 2 Wi-Fi adapter, and just a USB mouse and keyboard, just to make entering commands and setting it up easier. Let's get into it. So I've installed a fresh copy of the latest version of Arc OS, ran the XFCE install script, and finally launched XFCE. I am also connected to my home network over Wi-Fi. Be sure to check out my previous video on turning the R36S into a pocket PC for detailed instructions on how to get to the XFCE desktop. So to start off, we want to open up Terminal. Let's go into the taskbar on the top left, go down to System and Xterm. From here, we want to run sudo apt-get space update. I will put all the commands in the description below if possible. Once that's done, we want to install OpenSSH server. So again, sudo sudo space apt dash get space install open ssh dash server. Press yes. This should allow us to remote in from another computer. Once it's finished installing, we want to install our Apache PHP stack. So we'll do sudo space apt dash get space install lib apache one word two dash mod dash php and click yes again. Next, we want to make sure our OpenSSH server is running. We'll do sudo system ctl space start space ssh. And that should be it. To find our IP, we can type in ifconfig. And under wireless LAN 0, it does show our IP. 192.168.1249. We'll hop over to our Windows 10 Chromebook now and see if we can SSH in and if the web server is in fact running. So I think we'll start by trying to SSH in using PuTTY. The R36S's IP was 192.168.1249, default port 22. That's a good sign. Click accept. The default username and password for ArcOS is ARK, ARK. And there we are, we were able to remote in. Before we go any further with SSH, let's see if the web server is active. Opening up Chrome, typing in the R36S's IP, 192.168.1249. And there it is. So our little R36S console is serving web pages and has an active SSH server running. From here, you could leave the R36S powered somewhere in your room and configure it wirelessly over SSH. We'll go back to PuTTY now, might go full screen. So I think we'll start by trying to download screen fetch. sudo apt get install screen fetch and yes and we can run it just by typing screen fetch so it is reporting back as ubuntu 19.10 and we're only using just under 400 mega ram which is pretty good let's try and find and edit the web page that we're actually serving it should be under var let's have a look www and html so there's our index.html we can go nano index.html so this is the web page that it's currently serving. We'll quit out of this, I think. We'll rename it to oldindex.html. I have to do sudo move index.html oldindex.html. Perfect. Now if we do nano index.html or if we do index.php, we'll see if it's running PHP. So we can just do PHP echo hello. And if we save that, control O, enter. I should have opened it as admin. So I won't save it. Let's do sudo nano index.php. And again, a little test code. Control O, right. Control X to quit. There it is there. We may have to do Apache CTL restart if it'll allow us. And there it is, hello. Now, if you wanted to copy files into here easily, you could use something like wget from within the remote session, or we can use a free program for Windows called FileZilla. We'll go and download that now. Let's go back to Google, FileZilla. We want to download the client, not the server, and download. Just want the free version. The default download link never works for me for FileZilla for some reason. I always have to go to show additional download options and just use the portable zip version there. While that's downloading, let's go download an image that we could serve, and I think I'll just use my logo. And let's download that one there, save image. Perfect. Once it's finished downloading, we can go to our downloads folder and just extract our zip file.
and we can run it just by double clicking on filezilla.exe. Now under host, you want to put sftp colon backslash backslash and then the IP which is 192.168.1249 for me. Username is arc and password is arc. Port 22 as standard. Clicking quick connect or enter. There is our R36S uh, drive. Pretty cool. Go back to home and arc. It looks like we don't have write permission anywhere else. So hopefully we have write permission here. And I think we'll just drag it down there. Great, we do have permission for the arc folder. So if we go back to our SSH, we'll go clear. You can check how much free space is left on your SD card by typing in DF space dash H. You can see we've only got 82 meg free on our boot partition, which is expected. It's quite a small partition. It's only 100 meg. But on our ROMs partition, we have around 19 gig free. So plenty of space. If we go to our home directory, CD dollar home, we have the channel banner. So I'm just going to rename that first. So sudo mv channel banner dot jpeg base i'll call it logo dot jpg there we go there now i want to move it so sudo mv logo dot jpeg i want to put it in our web directory which is slash bar slash www slash html perfect let's double check it is gone we'll navigate to our web directory so there www html there's our logo there we want to sudo nano index.php. We'll get rid of the PHP coders for now and instead we'll do img src equals logo.jpg and then close it. Do our line break. Done. We'll save it. Control O and Control X to exit. And if we go back to our IP, refresh, there's the logo and there's the edits that we made. This may not make an ideal web server, but it's definitely just another neat little feature that this R36S has. I think when my R36S battery is heavily worn and barely holds a charge, it might end up as a dedicated web server constantly plugged in somewhere in the corner of the house. Although the CPU is definitely capable of running low-end game servers, something like Open RuneScape Classic or maybe even a very small Minecraft server, unfortunately there's just not enough RAM to do so. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, Thanks for watching.